What are constellations? Have you ever looked at the sky at night and imagined pictures in the stars? Long ago, people named groups of stars after the animals, objects and people they reminded them of. These groups of stars are known as constellations. You may have heard of some of them, like the Great Bear or Orion the Hunter. It's like the stars in the night sky make a giant dot-to-dot -dot puzzle. It's important to remember that the stars in a constellation are not connected in space. Some of the stars may be much further away than others. They just look that shape in the sky from our view on Earth. The brightest star in the night sky is called Sirius. In the UK and Ireland, Sirius is also called the Dog Star. This is because it is in the constellation of Canis Major, the hunting dog. However, in North Korea, South Korea and China, it is known as the Wolf Star. Some indigenous Australians know it as part of the wedge-tailed eagle, and in ancient Egypt it was part of the triangle. So even though the stars don't change, different cultures around the world connected the dots in different ways. Astronomers today still use 88 official constellations as a map of the night sky. They name stars, meteor showers and even black holes after them. You can also use constellations to find your way at night. For hundreds of years, sailors navigated the seas using the stars. Today, robotic spacecraft use star maps to find their way. Astronauts are also trained to use the stars to navigate in case their computer systems stop working. Try it for yourself. Look for the great bear. Find the four bright stars that make the bear's body. Imagine a straight line passing up through the two stars furthest from its tail. Continue this line until you find a bright star. This is Polaris, the North Star. This star is always to the north. Next time you look up at the night sky, look for the constellations and see what pictures you can make in the stars. Happy stargazing. <laughs>